guys, Bob's here, back on the kingdom of retro gaming, and today I have found a doozy. I have been looking for these, or this, these, for a while now. Oh, sorry, the lighting's terrible over there. A few weeks ago, a couple of months ago, I finally picked up the Famicom disk system. But I couldn't find the discs anywhere until now. Let's take a look at my collection, and then we'll take a look at some of the discs. So, this is what I have so far for my Famicom. First of all, we've got the Hong Kong version NES front loader. Two controllers, which has this one, which is amazing. I love that. And what I didn't realize until I bought it is a homebrew Castlevania game which is just fucking awesome. So that is that for the NES. Then I've got my CIB Famicom. Family computer の楽しいカセット情報。シングルス now, the box is in tatters, but this was the very first thing I bought when I started my retro gaming channel, and to be fair, it's in pretty good nick. It came with a bunch of games, the console is in pretty good condition, right? All good in the hood there. And then I've got some original games. I've got the original Donkey Kong. Hell yes, for the Famicom. That's real and complete. Bit rattly though. And then I've got CIB Golf. Now this is from a golf, uh, from a video I did, oh, probably a year ago or so. Probably my lowest viewed video ever. I bought a golf game for every console, and I got CIB Famicom Mario Golf. Mario Open Golf. And then finally, just because it was about 50 bucks, 501. It's basically, it's effectively an EverDrive for the Famicom. And this thing is light as balls. But if you've seen my video on my twin system, which plays Famicom and SNES games, you'll know that this actually does work. And then most recently, I picked up a CIB Famicom disc system. カセットの時代からディスクカードの時代へゲームの世界を変えるファミリーコンピューターディスクシステム新登場。本体にラムアダプターとディスクドライブを接続し、3倍の能力を持ったディスクカードを使うとドラマチックなゲーム内容に大き
Apparently, you've got to write FDS. So, this bad boy showed up first. A thousand dollars for nine games. Now, look at those games. They're all CIB, but aside from Mario up here and Donkey Kong, I'm never, I don't even know what, is that maybe Kid Icarus? ご飯よ。ご飯よ。入らん。ねどうよ。ここに来たものはみんな石になるのじゃ。ヒットよ。メデューサを倒せ。光の国エンジャランドに平和を呼び戻すのじゃ。マルチアクションゲーム光神話パ
this. Now, originally, I stumbled across this when I was looking for the disk system. And I didn't take any notice of that at the top. I just thought, ooh, that's quite clean. But it's not in the box, and it was $2,200. So I just moved along. And then it came up again. And then I started really looking. What is that? 3D glasses for the Famicom. Boom! Look at those. Shows you how... Jesus Christ, look at that. It's like a fucking puzzle just to try and plug everything in. But there they are. Famicom 3D glasses. So I hit him up and said, will you sell um, those separate from the rest of the console? And initially he said, no, he won't. It's a bundle, 2200 or nothing. So I just moved along. And then he came back to me. He's obviously not selling. So I said, how much do you want just for the glasses? He said 900 which I said was too much. And we finally settled on 750 And now I am going to get these bad boy Famicom 3D system glasses. I don't even know what games they will work with. I don't know. But I know that that is a super cool, rare thing. That I've never seen before. Uh, I've sent it to a few buddies and they've never seen them before. So I am super friggin' pumped to get the Famicom 3D system glasses. It's gonna be epic! Ooh, yeah, baby! The postman has just arrived with two boxes for Bob's, which means our Famicom disc games have arrived and our 3D glasses have arrived. Let's take a look! Now, I genuinely have no idea which is which. What's the lighter one? Hmm, maybe this one? So I'm guessing this is the games. Ooh, maybe not. How can these weigh more? Or maybe it's just more packaging. Hmm. Okay, let's just rip this open. One second. Okay, we're in. Oh. Are we? Okay, we are in. Oh. oh, snap. They are heavy. But there we go. Look at that. CIB Famicom Disk System Games. Famicom Grand Prix 3D Hot Rally. Japan Golf and USA Golf. They are really quite heavy. Let's open them up and have a look. What's inside one of these? So you've got... Oh. Can I do it with one hand? Hold on. So, when you get it out... Oh, look at that. That is clean. That's brand new. That's literally never been used before. That's the manual. You've got your little bit of paper. Oh, we've got sushi again. And then you've got your actual game. Is that sealed? How do I open this? Oh, so it pops open like that. Pull it out. And there we go. A floppy disk with Nintendo grained into it so that you couldn't just copy the games onto a regular floppy disk. Look at that, that's brand new. They're all like this. I'm just going to open these up and then we'll have a look. Oh snap, this one still has a sticker. I mean, the sticker's been pulled, so it has been opened, but... Oh, that one's been... Okay, so they have been opened. That one still has a little sticker. But, same again. See the disc? Unused. Look at that shine. Manual. Never open. Look at that. 
Oh. And with the extra little bit. And then finally, 3D hot shot. Oh. Can we get it out with one hand? Come on, we've done it twice before now. There we go. The disc. Slightly faded. I'm guessing this one was on top of the pile. Wherever this guy's was. Because the top is um, discoloured a bit. Wait. Is it? Yes, it is. I thought maybe it was just the colour. But this one is a bit dirtier. The case. But there we go. We've got our three Famicom disc games. We've got Japan Golf. We've got USA Golf. Oh, Japan Golf there, USA Golf, and 3D Hot Rally. Absolutely epic. But as epic as those are, this is what I'm excited for. Let's open this bad boy up. Oh, Jesus. Right, let's open this up. Oh, Famicom 3D system glasses. Unreal. Shout in the comments below if you even knew these existed. Because I certainly didn't. Look at those. Look at those. So that goes into the Famicom. And then you've got those bad boys that go on your face. The small little lenses, and the wire isn't super long, so I'm guessing if they sit relatively close, let's try these bad boys on. Okay, now, the only problem I see with these is there's a lot of space on the sides. I can see my peripheral vision and down, I can see everything down, so I don't know how they would really work unless you push them, can they move back? I can see everything under. See, look, there's a huge gap on either side as well. So what we're going to have to do is see which games work with it, pull out the old Famicom disc system. Ah, uh, sorry, the Famicom. I wonder if some of the disc system games work on 3D as well. Again, that's some more uh, stuff that I've got to do, some research. But for now, we've got it. The Famicom... 3D disc, uh, the, sorry, the Famicom 3D glasses and Famicom disc system games. Boom! In our, another video down the line, we're going to get all of this out, get it working on the CRTV and see what it actually looks like. Okay, just jumping in here before we finish, as I'm editing, I was looking um, which games work with those 3D glasses, right? And then I look up here at the games, what does that say? On 3D Hot Rally, 3D glasses. So, I'm thinking if I put this into here, this into here, and these into those, we should be able to play a 3D Super Famicom game. Hell yes! Oh, that sounds amazing. Anyway, guys. Just wanted to jump in and show you that, so we're going to try and get those out one day, get everything working, try it out on the CRT TV. But for now, again, I have been Bob's. This is the kingdom of retro gaming, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.